Have you ever had a friend date a total creep? <laughs> you can see it, your friends can see it, she cannot see it. Well, that's sort of the premise behind a new comedy on stage at the Public Theater. The play is called Women in Jeopardy, and we are joined by two of the actors, Heather Dilley and Amanda Ryan Page. It sounds, first of all, like you guys are having so much fun. What is the premise of the show? Well, <laughs> I'm dating a total creep. Congratulations. Um, he is uh, definitely not up to, well, he's strange. He's a little I strange. I love him. But he must, there must be something endearing about him if you're interested in dating him. Yeah, I, yeah. Think he's, I think he's great. They do not. Mm. My two best friends mm. do not think he is great. Mm -hmm. They're creeped out by him. Amanda, Julie. you are one of the best friends. I Let's, am. What's the premise between the two of you off to the side? Well, we uh, <laughs> we uh, sit with him at first. We meet him, and uh, he doesn't move at all. Like he's There's no movement whatsoever from him, <laughs> and it's really creepy. It's truly creepy, and then all of a sudden, he joins us in the kitchen, and, and they're all over each other. It's disgusting. Like, they're 14-year-old like they're kids, and it, uh, He growls at they me. They growl at each other. He barks. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, he, and he has a, a really delicate name for her that, that fills me with rage. <laughs> true, true rage when I hear so, it. I'm like, oh. So this is all clearly a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Which you guys really are having a lot of fun with. So much really. fun. But I have to say, when I read a little bit about the play, I could relate to that mm -hmm. notion mm -hmm. of your friend being with someone that you weren't that crazy yeah. about. Yeah. And it's because I think we girls love our friends so much and want yeah. the best for them. Yes. And you and the third character yes. in this uh, play really set out, do you, do you try to sabotage the relationship? Well, we find out a piece of information that's happened in the community and we think this guy is, is the one who's done this <laughs> terrible thing. And we spend most of the show kind of trying to prove that he did and to get and to Liz away me. from him. Yeah, to get her character to away. Save me. We're saving you from That's the relationship. Right. Well, I even say that. What are we're going to save her from the relationship. <laughs> the and we're bound you, to determine. The two of you, you haven't worked together in the past, but you have such a great chemistry together. It feels yeah. like we have. Yeah. It feels like we have. Yeah. Yeah. Very good casting. Yeah. Very good casting. We'll say it's always the best casting. This is one of the things mm -hmm. I love about this theater. It's always a group of people who you adore and you need to adore because we you work really, we have an, it's intense. an intense experience. Like yeah. it's two weeks and you live together. Right. So you have to be really comfortable and with this one, it's yeah. more than comfortable. Yeah, literally. It yeah. was like best at first sight. Yeah. So, so great chemistry on stage, right? Yes. Clearly. Yeah. Amanda, I was reading a little bit of your bio. Oh, no. Sounds like you come <laughs> from a family of entertainers. That what was life like growing up? The well, um, honestly, it was boring because <laughs> my, my, my mother decided to actually raise me in a, in a very small town as opposed to uh, New York City, which is where the entire family was from. But uh, their uh, studio guitarists and uh, circus people and uh, rockettes and Broadway people and all that stuff and my mom was like no nope, we're good I'm gonna be an English teacher and you're gonna grow up in, <laughs> in upstate New York but she couldn't stop herself from being a performer there and I couldn't stop myself from being a performer in a tiny place and so we did absolutely everything we could find uh, that was artistic uh, for oh, that cool. for that itsy bitsy teeny weeny place <laughs> We were the big fish. And it, we were the big fish. It brought you to the stage. It did. Heather, how about you? Some of our audience might recognize you from shows like Law and Order, perhaps. Yes. Oh, yes. But my family also is is a family of actors, and sometimes people recognize me and think that I'm my sister, who's also on Law and Order right. qu oh, quite wow. a bit. Oh wow. Yeah. No, my whole family does it. My brother, however, decided to be a Doctor, oh, how cool. we're thrilled. Oh, we, we're thrilled. <laughs> There's at least so one happy. of us who has a normal life. <laughs> so, the, the premise of the show is really about female friendship. Absolutely. So yeah. I, Absolutely. it sounds like the comedy carries the day. This mm -hmm. is a show for the whole audience. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It covers all the bases of comedy. This is my favorite mm -hmm. kind of show. Yeah. There's some slapstick. Yeah. There's some just situational kind of fun stuff. 
there's real, this is, you know, this is my favorite kind of comedy and it yeah. covers all the bases. Truly, tr based on real people, based Definitely. on true, real, real relationships. relationships. Real, yeah, it makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Sounds like a blast. If you want to see Women in Jeopardy, it's at the <laughs> Public Theater from October 18th through the 27th and you can find more information in the 207 section of our website and we will be right back.